So you've done all this work on your Tin Man and you've calculated the surface area of all those different shapes minus all those little pieces that you didn't need and you're ready to ask for your tin foil. Unfortunately, tin foil, because we live in America, is not sold by centimeters squared or, or meters squared. It's sold in square feet and the measurements are in inches. Um, so you're going to have to tell your teacher how many square inches you need. Now, this is a really great strategy that you're going to use multiple times, um, especially when you get into high school um, chemistry, but it's it's useful for many things. And it's converting using giant ones, okay, or unit conversions is the other name. So first off, you need to know, for example, in an inch, so if you took your ruler, so in an inch, you know, how many centimeters are there? So there's about, here you can see there's about one, two, and a half. So in one inch, there's about 2.54 centimeters. Or conversely, you can say in one centimeter, and you look down here, how much of an inch is that? Okay, so it's about 0.4 or 0 0.039 inches. So I'm going to show you that I could use either one of these as a unit giant one. So I've done all my calculations, and let's say, for example, I got that I had 500 centimeters squared but I need to ask my teacher for the number of square inches that is because that's how this aluminum foil is sold in the United States. Now if you write your starting units I would also suggest writing this out so that I can see all of my units. So I have 500 centimeters squared means centimeters times centimeters and I also want to write where I'm going so I eventually want to head to inches squared. Then I'm going to multiply my quantity, my original quantity, by unit giant ones. And I'm going to set it up in such a way that my unwanted units, my centimeters, cancel out and I introduce in my inches. So what I can do is I can set this up and say, okay, Centimeters on top of centimeters, this would be, you know, centimeters on top of centimeters will cancel out. That'll be the equivalent of one. But I can't just put in centimeters. I have to make this a fraction equal to one. And the way that I could do that is I can use either one of these conversion things. So I'm going to show that it works for both of them. But this is the one that most people memorize. That is one inch. So I'm going to write that 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So now I've gotten centimeters in the numerator, centimeters in the denominator. If you want to put a little 1 over it so you can kind of see where things are, that's fine. But now I have centimeters inches, but I'm trying to get all the way to inches squared, so I'm not quite there yet. So I'm going to multiply by another unit giant one. Once again, 1 inch is the same as 2.54 centimeters. I have a centimeter in the numerator, a centimeter in the denominator, that cancels out, and now I have 500, you know, inches times inches gives me inches squared, but I have to deal with these numbers. So if I take 500 divided by 2.54, divided by 2.54, I get my answer, which is about 76 inches squared. Now, I could have used just as simply this other conversion, but not as many people use it. But I'll just show you that it doesn't matter. As long as it's a unit giant one, you'll get the correct answer. So once again, I'm starting with my starting quantity, 500 centimeters squared, and I'm going to write it where my units are written out. So I can see centimeters squared to centimeters times centimeters. I'm going to write the units of my answer. So I know where I'm headed, inches squared, and then I'm going to multiply by a giant one that has units, just like seven days over one week. That's equivalent to one. But in this case, I'm going to use this equivalent, equivalency. So one centimeter is equal to 0 0.39 inches. And once again, if you want to put these all over one, that's fine. So centimeters in the numerator, centimeters in the denominator cancel. I have centimeters inches, 
trying to get all the way to inches squared. I'm going to multiply by another unit giant one. Once again, I'm trying to get rid of the unwanted units. So if I have centimeters in the top, I'd put them in the bottom so that they cancel. One centimeter is the equivalent of 0 0.39 inches. Centimeters in the numerator, centimeters in the denominator cancel. So now I have 500 times 0 0.39 times 0 0.39. That gives me about 77 um, inches times inches, inches squared. And once again, there's a little bit of difference here just because of the rounding that there are more digits there and the rounding over 500 centimeters got a little bit off. But you'd be asking for about 76, 77, 77, 76, 77 centimeters. I mean, I'm sorry, inches squared. Okay, so good luck with that calculation. And once again, make it clear so that your classmates can follow it and that you come up with, once again, you're trying to get as close to the amount because you don't want any extra and you don't want to have not enough as well.